House Bill 1109, Representative Liston, also Senator Heron, concerning the authority for local government to create an exemption of local sales tax for the sale of equipment used directly in the provision of telecommunication services. Since 2002, the General Assembly has introduced, on average, 670 bills, resolutions, memorials, and concurrent resolutions each year. Of that number, approximately 450 make it into law. House Bill 1138 is adopted. However, there are many things that can happen to a bill along the way. Or, uh, move L002 and ask that it be displayed. Such as the bill being amended, referred, reconsidered, and or postponed indefinitely. House Bill 1054 is lost. It may seem complex and confusing at first, but you can follow a bill from its introduction to its potential final passage into law using the Colorado General Assembly's website. And it is quite easy to do if you understand the tools that are provided. The General Assembly's homepage can be found at www.ledge.state.co.us. Or you can simply search for the Colorado General Assembly in your browser. There is a lot of information on the General Assembly website, but we are going to focus on the links that will help track a bill through the legislative process. This includes House and Senate calendars, status sheets, journals, search tools, and live audio streams of committee hearings. In addition, the Colorado Channel provides you with live video web streams at coloradochannel.net, cable coverage on Comcast Channel 165, and indexed video archives of the House and Senate floor proceedings that are also available on the site. Looking at the top of the General Assembly's homepage, the Video Audio Broadcasts of Current Proceedings link will direct you to another page that will give you access to video of the House and Senate floor proceedings and live audio of all of the legislative committee hearings. The committee audio links are very useful if you want to listen to the committee debates and testimony and get a first-hand account of these proceedings. To use this tool, you will need to know the date a bill will be heard in committee, the name of the committee, and what room the committee is meeting in. This information can be found in the House and Senate calendars that we will discuss later in the video. Below the audio video link is a link to the current regular session information. There is also a link to past legislative sessions. This is followed by several useful links for the current session of the House and links for the current session of the Senate. It actually doesn't matter if you start in the House or the Senate, as they each have the same search tools to start looking for legislation. To begin, let's start with the current regular session information link. Let's also assume that we do not know the bill sponsor or the bill number. We just know the subject. Let's consider a subject that has had a high public interest in 2011, immigration. This is a good example because it will help demonstrate how to locate a bill when there may be several bills with the same keywords in them. The search box that is provided on this page assumes that we know the bill number, but we do not. So at the top of the page, under the Colorado General Assembly banner, select the search link. Then, leaving the default selections as they are, enter the word immigration and hit enter. A list of all bills containing the word immigration will be retrieved. The search results page provides us with the bill number, the prime sponsors, and the short title of each bill. The bill number links also provide the bill in PDF or WordPerfect formats. Next, we can find links to all versions of the bill as it was introduced, engrossed, re-engrossed, revised, re-revised, and passed on third reading. These versions will show us any changes that have been made to the bill as it goes through the process. The history link will give us a summarized account of all actions taken on a bill, including the date of the action, the committees that have acted upon it, and the action taken. The fiscal note will give us a description of the bill and a financial assessment of the impact that the bill may have had on state and or local government. All bills have fiscal notes, even if it is determined that the bill has no fiscal impact. Additionally, all bills that are assigned to the Joint Budget Committee, or JBC, have a separate JBC analysis of the bill's fiscal impact. Next, you can find links to all committee reports and the final recorded vote of each committee. Each committee must issue a committee report on every bill it hears. These reports give the committee's recommendation on a bill. The committee can amend the bill, refer it to another committee, kill it, or send it to the committee of the whole without any changes. 
Please note, any amendments added by a committee are not part of the bill until the Committee of the Whole adopts the committee report on second reading. The last piece of information provided on the search results page is the third reading vote that each chamber has taken on a bill. If we look at the list of bills having to do with immigration, we can determine that the bill we want to track is HB 11-1073, short titled Peace Officer Status of U.S. Marshal. Now we have found our bill and have all the information we need to track it, bill number, bill sponsors, and short title. Now let's go back to the General Assembly main page by clicking the home link and look at the calendars to find out more about this bill. Calendars are created on a daily basis and list all of the bills each chamber may hear that day. Calendars also include the schedule for committees. However, calendars are subject to change and bills can be added or laid over while the chamber is in session. But by using these calendars, we can typically determine when a bill will be heard in a committee and when it will be heard on second and third readings. The link to the status sheets is also very useful. Only 50 bills are displayed at a time, so we may have to choose the correct range of bills to find the bill we want to track. The status sheets provide us with a snapshot of what the General Assembly has done on every bill to date. Status sheets are sorted by bill number and show the prime sponsors, short title, and the date the bill was introduced. Following that information, there are two lines in each column for each bill. The top line reflects the action taken in the chamber the bill was introduced in, and the second line reflects the actions of the other chamber. So for House bills, House actions are on the top line, and Senate actions are on the second. For help with committee abbreviations, you can click on the status sheet help link in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. The next column displays whether or not there was a fiscal impact followed by the dates the bill passed on second and third readings. Please note, if there is an asterisk next to the date, that means that the bill passed with amendments. The concurrence column displays either the date in which the originating chamber agreed to the amendments of the second chamber, or the date in which the originating chamber chose to request a conference committee to resolve the differences between the two chambers. This column is then followed by any final actions, Again, the status sheet help link is a great tool to help decipher the abbreviations used on this page. Let's go back to the General Assembly homepage and look at another useful link, the fiscal notes. The fiscal note tells us if this bill will impact state or local revenues and or expenditures. Following any changes in the fiscal note can help us understand what changes have been made to a bill. Yet another useful link on the General Assembly homepage is for updated bill summaries. When a bill is introduced, each bill has a bill summary that briefly explains the bill as introduced. As the bill is amended, the bill summary is updated to reflect those changes. This is, however, another tool that requires that the user know the bill number. The final link on the General Assembly homepage we will look at is the Committees link. The links on this page will take us to the following information. Subject matter that the committees consider, the members of each committee, staff and contact information, a tweet of the committee business, the committee schedule, as well as general committee information. For some committees, you may also find a place to sign up to receive emails on committee updates and schedule changes. So how does this all fit together? Well. We have shown you how to find a bill with just knowing one keyword. Once you are able to find the bill number, tracking it becomes a lot easier. You can use the House and Senate calendars as the primary source to learn when the bill will be discussed in committee and when the bill will be heard on the floor of each chamber. You can also use the audio and video links to hear the debate on a bill firsthand. You can find the changes that are made to the bill and the action taken on it by viewing the committee reports, bill history, and by viewing all versions of the bill. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope this makes understanding the legislative process here in Colorado a little easier. For additional information, please visit coloradochannel.net.